All right, this is the eighth grade TCAP practice test. This is uh, for math, obviously. For qu This is question number 31. The question says, what is the value of B in the solution to this system of linear equations? Now, there's a few ways that you can do this problem. Uh, I'm going to talk about substitution, and we're also going to talk a little bit elim about elimination. There's more ways to do it. Uh, if you wanted to, you could graph them and then try to figure out what B is by, you know, sort of making it into a Y term and all this other stuff. There's convoluted ways you can figure it. Guessing might be an option. I don't suggest it, but it is one. But let's talk about substitution. When I substitute, what I can do is rewrite, like, one of the variables in terms of the other one and then just substitute it in. So I'm going to take this 3A plus 3B thing. Well, wouldn't it be nice if instead of writing A in this equation, I could just write a bunch of Bs? Well, I could do that once I figure out what A is if I write it as a B. In order to do that, I need to get A by itself. So I'm trying to find B by getting rid of A. So the for, but in order to do that, I need to figure out what A is. So I'm going to draw my line here. I need to get A all by itself. In order to do that, I need to get rid of plus 3B. So I need to subtract 3B from both sides. So I bring down negative 3b minus 21. You'll notice that the 21 does not have a variable on it, but the 3b does, which is b the b. That's like apples and oranges. You can add apples, as many apples as you want, to a bunch of oranges, and it's not going to increase the number of oranges at all. Apples don't become oranges, and variable terms do not become non-variable terms without by adding and subtracting. So you're going to have to just bring everything down. And then I bring down the 3a. Now. All I have to do to get A by itself is get rid of that times 3. I know it's times 3 because they're touching. To get rid of times 3, I divide by 3. Everything divides by 3. So I get A is equal to negative 1B, so this be equals, minus 21 divided by 3 is 7. So that's another way I could write A. So instead of writing A, I could just write negative B minus 7. So I'm going to eliminate this stuff that I just figured out so that I can try it in the first question and see if I can figure out what B is in a very quick manner. So I've got 2A minus 4B is equal to 4. But what if instead of writing the A there, I wrote negative 1B minus 7? So what that looks like is 2 times negative 1B minus 7, close it, and then just write the rest of it out. Now I can just solve the equation, so I'm going to erase this stuff now that I don't need it anymore. It gives me a little bit of room. I tend to run out of room a lot. So uh, draw your line, then I do uh, distributive property. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2b. 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. Minus 4b everywhere. So from here, I'm going to combine any like terms, and that would be like all the apples together, all the oranges together. Well, I have a B term here and a B term here. They're on the same side of that line, so I just combine them like I'm telling a story. Once upon a time, negative 2 minus 4, which it gives me negative 6. Bring down everything else that I don't use. Now I've got to get B by itself. In my class, we call this parties over. Uh, at the end of a party, you have friends come over and friends of friends. The friends of friends will not help you clean up, and they'll just talk to you about annoying things. Your friends will stay with you and might help you clean up. If you are the variable, so you are B, that negative 6 is probably your friend because it's near you. The negative 14, I've got to get rid of. So in order to get rid of minus 14, I need to add 14 to both sides. These cancel out. I bring down negative 6B, and uh, 14 plus 4 is 18. I'm almost done to find out what the value of b is. I've got 6 times b, or negative 6 times b, so in order to get rid of negative times negative 6, I need to divide. And 18 divided by negative 6 is negative 3, so b is equal to negative 3. That's substitution. That's one way that you can do the problem. You basically just take one of the problems, and whatever you're trying to find, so in this case I was trying to find B, I needed to get A by itself so I could see what A looks like if I was talking about it like it was a B. And then I take the other equation, plug in my new version of A, so in this case negative 1B minus 7, and then just solve the equation, and that will give you the answer. It will make it much quicker. Uh, the other option is to do elimination, so let's talk about elimination.
When I do elimination, what I'm trying to do is get one of the variables to cancel out. In this case, I'm trying to get rid of the A's because I'm trying to find B. So let's get rid of the A's. If you notice, the A has a 2 in front of it in the first equation and a 3 in the other. Well, if I could get them to be the exact same number, but with different signs, they eliminate perfectly. And it looks nice. What I'm going to do to do that is multiply each, uh, the, each of the terms by the number in front of the opposite one. So basically, I know that 3 times 2 is 6. So if I multiply this number by the 3, it will give me the 6. Same thing here. I want them to be different signs, though. So I need to make sure that if they're not different signs already, I need to do a negative version. But I'm going to multiply this 3 by this 2. So now I rewrite the problems as 3 times 2 is 6a. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12b. 3 times 4 is positive 12. Negative 2 times 3a is negative 6a. Negative 2 times 3 is minus 6b. And negative 2 times negative 21 is positive 42. See how the first one is a 6 and this is a negative 6? What's 6 minus 6? 0, right? So I cancel these out. And then I combine the next ones. Negative 12 minus 6 gives me negative 18b. And then I do 12. And since it's 42 underneath, I'm assuming that's a plus 42. So I do 12 plus 42. And it gives me 54. Now all I need to do is get b by itself. So in order to get rid of times negative 18, I need to divide. 54 divided by negative 18 is 3. The beauty of this type of problem is it's not that difficult if you write it down. So if you like substitution, use that. If you like elimination, use that. Whatever you like to do. So good luck.